pulled off the highway into a little town called Big Valley. I need to get some fuel. Whoa, look at that van. Down to Big Valley. Check that van out. Heck yeah. Oh, look at the top on it too. Come on, man, where's the for sale sign? Where's the for sale sign? Oh my gosh, I want that thing. I want it, I want it, I want it! Oh, that's sweet! These little small towns in Alberta are pretty damn epic. Oh, what a cute place. Looks like the local gas station's just a great big tank outside. You want to take my money? You want to take my money? You want to take it? You can have it. It's only money. <laughs> he doesn't want my money. I'm not really too sure if that dog even liked me at all. As soon as I walked in there, he's like, oh heck no. Oh heck no. You get out of here, you smell like another dog. This is my turf. Anyway, we're in our little town, little village called Big Valley, Alberta. Yep, this place is picture perfect. Insane. You pull into a town and just get some fuel and you find little adorable places like this. There's a bunch of little boutique shops through here. Hey buddy, come on. He doesn't, he doesn't want to walk. Being in this little towns always make me wonder what it's going to be like in our future. Like these are things from generations past. You got rusty old hubcaps from things back when we were all young. And you got old gas pumps and farm machinery that they don't use anymore that's kind of painted all pretty and scattered around town. Makes me wonder that when my daughter gets older, what kind of modern things that we're going to throw around town for the rest of the world to remember our time. <laughs> what, like an iPad? Just scattered out there somewhere on display? I don't know. It's kind of a weird thing to think about. The cool round thing you see here is a train turntable. It's missing the platform and stuff like that on the top, but the trains would come in and they could turn the platform to wherever they wanted the train to go. This place is called a roundhouse. We have one downtown Vancouver as well, um, but the one in Vancouver is still semi intact. This one is clearly gone. It's just like the ruins of an old train maintenance building. But this one looks really big. It's like got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten repair bays. There's the better look at it. So the turntable there, that thing would turn and put the train onto the tracks to go into each of the different repair bays. So there you go. One track in and you could tip it to wherever you wanted them to go and then off they went in for for any kind of maintenance they needed. This is wicked. This roundhouse was built by CN Rail in 1912. Boy, that was a long time ago. And it was a part of the great railway boom in Alberta from 1909 to 1920. This used to be a one and a half story wooden structure. Now all that's left is anything concrete and metal. Oh, it's a parts room. Know what any of this stuff is it's just miscellaneous things i'm sure they just found here over the years oh, i know what this is here's a pipe wrench <laughs> what's in here ah the sign says boiler room i know a little bit about steam boilers i worked in the steam boiler industry for 10 years before moving into my van uh, we, I was at a chemical company. I wasn't a maintenance mechanic guy. I worked for a company that did water treatment to keep the inside of steam boilers from like rusting and corroding. And in, in this kind of thing, they would probably use it for uh, like cleaning the trains and stuff. Using hot water and steam to clean and service a steam locomotive. Like how picture perfect has Alberta been in these last few videos? Secretly inside of me, I'm a ginormous fan 
of trains. I have an old friend of mine, we haven't talked in a very long time, his name is Chris. He was a train freak. Uh, and I never understood why, but now as I get a little older, things like train stations and trains start to become, oh man. <laughs> I used to always be about music, nightclubs, big cities, and girls. Now I like trains? <laughs> what? Uh, maybe. <laughs> Coffee? Sounds good to me. There yep. you go. That's what happens when you come to a small town and you load up in all the local goodies. <laughs> Those look good though. Thank you, sir. Now there's some good small town service. Thank you very much. Have a great day. You enjoy your day too. Pop in here to get some coffee. One of the ladies like, you have to try that cake. So I'm like, okay, I'll take that too. And then I seen the ginger cookies. I'm like, oh no, I'll take those too. I really, I really dig this town. <laughs> I really dig it. Another one to put on your list. Big Valley, Alberta. Is that what it's called? I'm 47 years old, I think. 47? Yeah, I'm 47. And I'm learning more things about the country that I live in while I travel around than I ever did sitting behind a desk in school reading out of a textbook. Or uh, I, I spend more time in the principal's office, but that's for, that's for another story. But being on the road is very educational. Just got into a town called Bulwark, Alberta. First thing we're greeted with is a very small cemetery. Now this is my kind of place. There's an old car in the field, an old house up here. Oh yeah, now this is my kind of place. <laughs> yeah. We are in Bulwark, Alberta, and this place was listed as a ghost town online, and it looks like there's only a few structures around here and some vehicles, but uh, let's go snoop around. <laughs> I just got the you-know-what scared out of me as I'm moving around. As I'm moving around here, birds are flying out of these buildings and uh, it's kind of a little bit on the scary side. I'm a little creeped out. This old trailer. It's an awesome looking trailer though. TV in there. Right there. So little old TVs around here. Monchi? I never heard of that brand before. Monchi. Did I not say I needed a metal uh, poo bucket? <laughs> um, this one's got an actual bucket inside, but I think I said that yesterday. This place is awesome and deserves a little bit of music. 
urban exploring or adventuring around ghost towns is something that I have definitely found after living in my van. I always liked graffiti and graffiti alleys and stuff, but seeing the history of these old, lost and forgotten places where there's buildings that used to be homes and people's farms and sometimes churches and community stores really pulls at me. I don't know what it is about it. I think it is just wondering what it was like way back then. I googled the history of this place and you're going to have to google it to get the history on it because the stories that go along with this are very, very complex. Because I think somebody actually knew the story about this place, it wasn't just a great big question mark. Like there's even a story about a dog after the people moved away from here that ended up walking back 185 kilometers back to the town and was found on the front doorstep of the abandoned home that he used to live in. The stories here are pretty cool. I suggest you Google it. Oh, wicked. Oh, the old truck. The front grill on this thing. Now that, my friends, is a front grill. Oh, this thing is awesome. Old beer bottle. Wow, that truck's really cool. There's noises coming from in there. There it is. <laughs> Whoa, there's another one. <laughs> As my heart starts to go. Whew. Today was super satisfying. I got a little piece of everything I needed out of this one. We got some nice country drives. We put in a fair amount of kilometers today to film what we did film. But this was the ultimate way to end a day. Thanks for watching you guys. Don't go yet though. I'm gonna throw the drone up and leave you guys with some footage of this place from up above because I think this one deserves just a little bit more time. So this is Balwark, Balwark? <laughs> Still letting you know the name of this place. Alberta, uh, you guys can Google things if you want more information on these places and or what happened around here. Thanks for watching and enjoy all these drone shots because holy crap, was this place awesome. Oh my gosh. What's up, widows? We're alone. We're good. I hope you guys have been enjoying our time out here on the road exploring through Alberta, Canada. I know I have, and I like days where I get to learn a few things. It's weird in life because I think in school you've read lots of books and you've heard teachers tell you lots of things, but I don't know, I always found those things that just weren't interesting to me back then. Nowadays, I'm having a blast out here Googling the history of places. Thank you for that, that I can reach in my pocket and find out whatever happened here, right here in the moment. These little trips here for me are kind of like great big learning experiences, and I'm glad to have you guys riding along with us. All right, guys, I'm going to leave you guys with the rest of this footage. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys, I don't know, maybe tomorrow. Okay, see you soon. <laughs>